Hello and welcome to Sean Ray Edits. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your very own billboards. This tutorial is gonna be very quick fire. So if you're looking for something a bit more in depth, then I have got a longer version of it available on my channel now. I'll leave it linked in the description alongside the footage for if you wanna follow along at home. First, I'm just gonna mask out the original advert that's on the billboard. Next, I'm gonna open up the rulers and I'm gonna use them to calculate the dimensions of my billboard. So my vertical height is about 200 and my horizontal is about 650. Now using these dimensions, I'm gonna create my poster in Photoshop, but you can always create a new composition in After Effects if you want a live poster. I'm gonna layer my poster underneath my original footage and then I'm just gonna realign it so it's roughly in line with the billboard. I'm then gonna apply the mesh warp effect to my poster and then I'm gonna reduce the rows and columns and then stretch it out so it fits my billboard. If you have an irregular shaped billboard, you can always use extra rows or columns to try and fit your billboard properly. Next, I'm gonna create a new solid with the same dimensions as my poster, so 650 by 200, and I'm gonna make this a dark to lightish gray solid. And I'm gonna use the transform controls to move it into the rough position of my billboard. I'm going to sandwich this underneath my original footage, but still above my poster. I'm then gonna apply the CC ball action effect to my solid, and I'm gonna reduce the grid spacing and ball size down until I get this LED screen look. I'm then gonna apply the mesh warp effect to it, and I'm gonna stretch it out so it fits my billboard similar to how I did my poster. Next, I'm gonna create another new solid, but this time it's gonna be a pure white, and we just need to copy and paste the transform controls and both of the effects from our gray solid onto our white solid. We then need to reduce the ball size on our white solid, and we also need to go into the transform controls, go to the position and move it up one pixel and to the left one pixel. I'm then gonna apply the glow effect to my poster, and I'm gonna adjust it so it looks similar to what a glow would look like on a real life billboard. I'm then gonna add some keyframes to the glow threshold so that the glow flickers throughout the video. Next, I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer, bring it to the top of my composition and add the noise effect to it. And I'm just gonna increase the amount of noise by a couple percent to bring in level of overall uniform noise to my video. Finally, I'm gonna open up the color grading mode in After Effects, and then I'm gonna open up the vector scope in the Lumetri scopes, and I'm gonna apply a Lumetri color effect to my original poster, where I'm gonna adjust the curves to bring all of the color more in line so it's composited properly in my image. And then I'm gonna add one final color grade, and there we have it, we've got our own billboards. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. See ya.